Okay, so page 13 of your homework. We're going to go over just a few to make sure you understand how to do your homework. Now, number one, notice for number one, the numbers 496, 496, the order of the numbers does not change at all. What changes is how they're grouped or the parentheses. When the parentheses moves and the numbers do not move, that is the associative property. And this is addition. So this is the associative property of addition. Okay, now for the next one, x plus 12, 12 plus x, notice x and 12 switched places. They moved, move. We think of commuting as moving from home to work, work to home. So this is the commutative property of addition. Now number three, we're adding zero to three plus y. Well, does adding zero change the identity of three plus y? No, it doesn't. So whenever we add zero, that's the identity property of addition. It does not change its value. Okay, let's jump down to number nine. Now, number nine multiplies by zero. What happens when you multiply by zero? It always equals zero. So that's the zero property of multiplication. Now number 10 is tricky, because many of you will look at number 10 and automatically assume, oh, parentheses must be associative. But if it was associative, the numbers or variables would not move. But this is 6 times 8 plus c. And this is 8 plus c times 6. So what moved was this expression, 8 plus c, moved with the 6. What operation did it move around? It moved around multiplication. So this is the commutative property of multiplication. That was a tricky one. And number 12, we're multiplying by 1. When we multiply by 1, that's the identity property of addition. Because 3 times 9 times 1 is still 3 times 9. Okay, so that was a quick review of some of the trickier ones and basic ones on page 13.